everything literally fits in here hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you my makeup collection if I was not a youtuber a beauty guru if that's what you would like to call me you probably saw all of your favorite beauty youtubers film this video probably like about a year ago and here I am a year later filming it now I just feel like I'm always late to every bandwagon I just don't like to jump on it as quickly as everyone else does but at the time I was going to film it but it just didn't really make sense for me to because at the time when it was a popular video to film I feel like I was really happy with my collection and I was like no I could never cut my collection down even if I didn't do YouTube I would still be a makeup collector but you know me here in April 2021 turning 25 in about a month and a half you know call a life crisis I kind of realized that I really am a minimalist at my heart at my core everything to be minimal I don't like a lot of clutter and I feel like that's the same with my closet as well there's a lot of clothes that I keep on just because I'm like this will come in handy for a YouTube video for a makeup look I'll just keep it in my closet but in reality every season I wear the same like probably five to eight outfits on repeat. I'm always in sweats and I'm in hoodies, I'm in oversized tees, biker shorts, uh, sweatpants. I rarely dress up like this, like sometimes, sometimes I will. But I do like dressing up and that's I think what I love about my channel is that it really, really is a creative outlet for me. I mean, that was a really long intro, I'm so sorry. I just really like to over talk and over share things. But with that being said, let's get this video started. It's going to be a long one, so grab a drink. Okay. Okay, so we have a lot to get through we'll just go in the order and the way that I do my makeup personally and that will start off with primers so I'm not going to mention my like SPF primers like my super goop and Hemish one although I really do love those and I would keep them I would still consider those to be more on the skincare side rather than the makeup side so the one primer that I would keep is the elf Paulus putty primer I've recently been really really loving this I think it does a really great job of just like smoothing out my skin I feel like with a lot of primers I don't really see too much of a difference with so primer is always a step that I do skip but with this primer specifically I do see a difference so therefore I would keep it in and I really really enjoy this one as for complexion slash foundations I would actually only have these two products so the first one is the Colourpop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer and then the M Cosmetics Daydream SPF cushion. So these two definitely have a light coverage. The Daydream cushion from M Cosmetics definitely has light to medium. I would only have these two in my collection because I realized like after I started using the Pretty Fresh tinted moisturizer that if I use this as a base and I go in with my full coverage concealer I do get a same finish when I use a full coverage foundation and a full coverage concealer. The only difference difference is that I look a lot less cakey so after discovering that which really does make so much sense to me because why do we need to go in with a full coverage foundation and then a concealer and then powder and powder you know it's just a lot um, and obviously there is a time and place for having fuller coverage but I think for me day to day and if I wasn't filming videos this is what I wear I don't wear foundation often and I think once I go through all of my foundations I have I think three in my collection one is in my project pan and I have two others um, once I go through those I'm going to try and be foundation free I guess officially I can say I'm on a foundation no buy um, I don't consider the daydream cushion to be a foundation because actually Michelle she is foundation free I believe so this is more of like a serum type of product I don't know anyway I do want to go foundation free eventually I just want to use up what's in my collection but in reality this is the two products that I use every day for my concealer I would only keep one this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer I wear the shade almond and this is my favorite concealer ever like nothing that I have tried has topped this I actually recently purchased the Kosos concealer I'm waiting for that in the mail so we'll see how I like that one because I've heard that one's a really great one as well I will give you guys a bit of project pen spoilers but I did um, kind of empty up 
my concealer so that's why I went ahead and purchased another concealer um so we'll see but for now the Too Faced one is just pure perfection it has the most beautiful coverage and the finish under my eyes on my skin I love it like anytime I use a new concealer I'll always compare it to this and if it's not up to this Too Faced standard then I don't want it. This has been my favorite for a very, very long time and it's really the only concealer I need. For powders, I probably would just have one loose powder and right now I'm just using the Laura Mercier one. I probably would switch to something else just because um, Laura Mercier is in the gray zone for being cruelty free so I would just have to see about that. I probably would try the NYX Halo Glow powder because I've heard a lot of people really love that so maybe that one but I would keep one loose powder and then I would keep one press powder. I would have to go with a translucent one rather than a press one. Just my preference recently. I've just been liking, you know, less on my face, even though I'm like full glam today. Just if you see me out and about, I'm not wearing this much makeup unless it's like I'm doing something, taking photos or whatever. You guys understand me. This one is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. Really love this guy. Super affordable. Does the job. What can I say? I of course would have a setting spray in my collection as well. Uh, my favorite setting spray is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This one just has the best mist. I know it's an aerosol can and that's not really good for the environment, but this one really is just the best to me. Even the formula of the setting spray, I feel like it really does lock in my makeup. So this one would have to be my favorite setting spray and it's also very, very affordable. For my brows, I would just have these three products. First, my eyebrow pencil, the next micro brow pencil you know this one is my favorite and it's affordable it works it's just you know the Anastasia brow with dupe so I would always have this I've had it in my collection so long it's my favorite brow pencil I would have my brow powder the one I'm using right now is the Jason Wu one but in reality I probably would just have the Anastasia one um, because I do see a difference with that but this is the one I'm currently using I just need some type of brow powder and then for my brow gel the M Cosmetics brow cream this is just a holy grail product at this point I absolutely love this brow cream it just does a great job of giving texture to my hair and it just really sets my brow hairs in place and I just love this product I love it so much like people, we need to get on this. Now onto the eyes. I have a lot of products for this section. So eye primer, I probably would just skip over. I would just go in with my concealer really, but let's talk about my eyeshadow palettes first and what I would have in my collection. So me personally, I love playing with color. I love it but I don't wear it in my day-to-day -day life. You know, when I'm going out, I'm always gonna stick to a look like this, very warm. The first one would have to be the 3CE Overtake Eyeshadow Palette. This is the one that's in my project pan. Personally, to me, this is literally the most perfect everyday palette. I think from transitions to mediums to the darkest tone, the metallics in here are gorgeous as well. Like this to me is really just the perfect everyday palette for my preference for a warm toned loving gal. It's so small, it's compact. The formulation is amazing as well. However, 3CE to me is in the gray area for being cruelty free. But I love this palette so much is because of the ColourPop It's a Princess Thing palette. I've hyped up this palette so much. The shades try Titan Naboo is literally my most perfect matte. I talked about these specific mattes so often. I recommended this palette just because of those mattes there. But in this little 3CE palette, you actually get a shadow that's very, very similar to Triton. And I've never seen a shadow like that before. It looks like such a basic color that you can dupe easily, but it's really, really unique. So I would still keep this one. Um, other palettes I would have is the Coast to Coral palette. I'm not wearing it today, but it looks like I kind of am. I'm wearing the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette. I will have a video and three looks on that palette soon. This is one of the looks, look one. But this is just a really pretty color story. I think you're able to create more warm tone looks, but you're able to go a little bit brighter and into that coral side. So I love this for that. I feel like corals are so flattering against my skin tone. Call me biased to warm tones, but it is what it is. And then also the Blush Crush palette. 
whenever I need pinks, this is my go-to palette. Love this one. And then, of course, you know, my tried and true, my give it to me straight palette. This is just a mixture of warm tones and berry tones. Obviously, you can tell the color story I really like to wear on the daily. This is just going to be my holy grail for forever. I love this palette. So these would have to be the palettes that I would keep. I know it's pretty much all ColourPop, but... <sighs> Colourpop, I just feel like I'm just so familiar with them. I know them so well. I know their colour story so well. So, yeah. I would literally have all Colourpop palettes. But it's really interesting because some of these products I probably would have not tried if I didn't have my YouTube channel. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I would, I would have ever bought this Princess palette from Disney and Colourpop in the first place, you know? And I would have never discovered Triton. So it's really cool to see that YouTube does make me step out of my comfort zone. It's my creative outlet. I would also have my NYX Primal Eyeshadow. I use this to smudge out my wing liner all the time. I have a lot of eyeliners. So first I have these two from M Cosmetics. I just have their brown and black. I definitely need a brown and black liquid liner. I would also have a brown and black eyeliner, but in a pencil version. The black one is from Milani and the brown one is from Odyssey Inn and then I would have to have a nude eyeliner this one is Honey Dude from Colourpop Cosmetics literally the only mascara I feel like I need is the Hemish Smudge Stop Mascara I truly love this mascara so much I don't think I would ever love a mascara more than I love this one because you guys I'm gonna enter a photo on a really really good lash day for my lower lashes I thought my lower lashes looked so good in this photo and it's all thanks to to this mascara I don't think I could really achieve that type of look without this mascara like it's so affordable the one is perfection formulation is perfection like I just love and adore this mascara like it's my holy grail favorite I don't need anything else it works amazing for my top lashes it works amazing for my bottom lashes I don't need two mascaras you know this works great for both so that's the only mascara I need. So now I have some false lashes. You guys know I am a lash girl. But in my day-to-day -day life, if I'm just chilling with friends, um, you know, something very casual, I wouldn't really wear lashes. Um, I just wear them if I know I'm going to be taking photos or if it's a special occasion, you know, yada, yada, yada. But these are my favorites and the ones that I wear the most off camera. There are some lashes that I wear because they suit the makeup look that I'm filming. But in reality, these are the four pairs that I reach for when I'm off camera, what I feel most confident in. And let's start off with what I'm currently wearing. Probably the lash that I feel just so good in. And these are Honey from Petite Cosmetics. It's from their Luxe Foam Mink line. Something about Honey, it is a dramatic lash. So it's definitely not a natural lash. Honey just looks so good. It's so fluffy. It's so wispy. It's the perfect length. Whenever I wear this lash, I always feel so good in my skin and my eye look because I know my eyes look so rounded and they just look really, I don't know, it just looks so fluffy. I love Honey. Honey is like holy girl like my go-to glam lashes but also from petite cosmetics i really love their hana lash this is something that i would wear on a natural day i just really like the length of it it just gives my lashes a little bit more definition without being too long and dramatic and then of course my og favorite pair of lashes from house of lashes i have the boudoir lights and the natalia light the boudoir lights are quite similar to the honey lashes where they just make my eyes look very very circular and just very cutesy but they definitely are a lot shorter than the honey and less wispy but nonetheless I love these lashes and they are just so comfortable as well the Natalia light definitely have more of an angle to them um, they're a little bit more cat eye but they're not so cat eyed like the iconic lights but they still make my eyes look a bit rounded you know I don't know it makes my eyes look lifted but rounded so Natalia lights will always have to be one of my favorites as well so now we're gonna move into the cheeks. I would just have my Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette in warm and medium because it has my bronzer, my contour, and my highlight. And I did use this palette today, so this is my current bronzer. I used the contour to contour a little bit under my double chin and on my nose as well and then I obviously love this highlight just to set in my face and to mattify my face even further and it's just really nice how this is very compact and it has three steps in one and I actually use all three so this is the one that I would just 
always have. For blush, I would definitely have my M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Fatal Clementine Blush. This is perfection. It's the blush I'm currently wearing. Whenever I wear something very warm toned, I'm always wearing this blush. It just looks so good. Formulation is just so unique. Like, it's just so special. So I would have this one. For sure, if I wanted something a little bit more pinky and brighter, I will go in with the Super Shock Cheek in the shade Growth Flirt. This is the blush that I always wear on my days off, like on natural days. I just love this because it gives my face just some brightness. I've been trying a lot more liquid and cream blushes, and I honestly think the Super Shock ones are the best. Like, they don't look patchy, give a lot of pigment on the cheeks. It really is just the best, I feel like, from the ones I've tried recently. For highlighter, I have two. So the first one is the Dose of Colors Fuego Highlighter. This is in collaboration with Desi and Katie. And another Project Pan spoiler. I've actually hit pan on this, you guys. Like, when I saw the pan, I was like, what? There is a little pen in there. I'll talk more about it in my project pen update, which will come up this week as well. This would have to be my favorite. It's the highlighter I'm wearing today. I like how you can build it up to make it very intense or you can have it very subtle. I think the color is just very perfect on my skin tone, so fuego all the time. But on more natural days, um, like I said, I always wear Grow Flirt. If I want highlighter, I will definitely go in with Lunch Money, the Super Shock from ColourPop. Um, this one just looks very subtle as well, but you can build it up to intensify it. So I just love Lunch Money. Lunch Money is a fabulous highlighter. Okay guys, we're now on to the last category and that is the lips. I'm going to leave my daily lip color video up here and also down below because a lot of those colors in that video I would keep in my collection because obviously they are my favorite daily lip colors to wear. I'll quickly just go through some of them very quickly just in case you don't want to watch that video but you know, go watch that video too. Help a sister out. But I'll just quickly rapid fire through them. Um, the one I'm wearing right now is the Jason Wu Eclair lipstick. This is, has been my favorite, like my absolute favorite recently. I have not been able to put this down. So the Jason Wu Eclair lipstick. I've been really loving the Odin's Eye Velvet Lipstick in Light Peach, a really pretty one. I have the e.l.f. Cosmetic Seriously Center Lipstick in Nectar. I got, of course, my Just a Tint Lip Crown in Rise and Shine, my M Cosmetics Magic Hour Liquid Lipstick and also Magic Hour Lip Cushion. Love these two. My ALF um, Lip Lacquer Gloss in Moody, my ColourPop Air Kiss Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Also another Just a Tint Lip Crown Feel Good from ColourPop as well. Um, those were some of the shades that I did mention in that video. So I'll link that down below. You'll also see uh, swatches and lip swatches obviously in that video. So if you want to see those up close I would recommend checking that video out as well but I did add in another three because you know sometimes I do want to do something a little bit different so the first edition would have to be the uh, Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Hermosa this one um, it's a really nice purple burgundy shade so this would work really great as a gradient lip with the lip colors I mentioned just now or as a full lip um, if I want something a little bit more dark and grungy but that's not very often but there's a time and place for that. I would also add in another Just a Tint Lip Crown. This one is Chimichanga. It's more of like a brighter red. This would work really nice on a natural day when I want something very bright and fresh. This is the one that I would definitely go for. So I would add that one in. And then I would just have to add in a red lipstick. And I just picked out the Luxe Lipstick in the shade Solo from ColourPop. I believe this one is discontinued. I'm not too sure. But it probably is knowing ColourPop. Whenever I think of a red lipstick I think of solo I don't know if it's just because you know Jenny solo so I'm always like you know but yeah I really do like the shade it's really really pretty it's, it definitely has a pinkier red undertone rather than a blue tone I really like it it's in their velvet blur finish so really like this one and those were all of my lip colors that I would keep so that you guys was my entire makeup collection if I was not a beauty youtuber I think there probably is some things that I might have missed out but I think for the basis of everything this is what my collection would look like every single product 
in this collection I would use every single day if not every other day I'm gonna try and fit it into my makeup box this one is from Pony Effect I got it a very very long time ago it was one of the first PR packages that I got and this bag actually is just perfect I use this all the time when I travel um, you guys probably have seen my mirror this one the one that I use all the time it came with this so it's perfect it actually has a little slot in the bag for the mirror um, but yeah I'm gonna try and fit everything in and and see if it all fits. This is everything. Well, not everything. I'll show you what I did not fit in. Everything literally fits in here besides my setting spray and my false and my false lashes. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as well. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I truly, truly do appreciate it. I love you guys so very much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!